how does this camera look? Okay. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not the sitter. I tend to, to agree with that. Um, a lot of works of art are about the artist, regardless what the subject is. So ex you're excited. <laughs> Um, I want the game to be louder than I normally have it compared to my mic, so can you guys let me know if I should turn the game up uh, as I go through? Um, Heretic, welcome. Post it on Twitter, yeah. Um, I mean, I still have to, to let people know that I'm streaming. No, maybe I don't want them to watch <laughs> me suffer. Uh, I can turn that the most sensitivity a bit. Game is polished a lot more, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm glad the game's more polished. I can tell it's already a bit like smoother than it was, which is good. Oh, I missed this the first time. Got children's shoes here. Actually, maybe it's not sensitive enough now. Oh, and the muzzle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, EJ Easy, I guess that's your name. In for a treat. Well, like I said, I played this game before, so I don't know how scared I'm gonna be this time. That was a rat. No, I turned the donations off, or I turned the um, alerts off. An artist triumph, gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Car Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Fuck. Others compare him to Van Eek, and one awestruck critic, who wished to remain unnamed, went so far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, slice it. The exhibition proved an immense success. Blah, blah, blah. Crossed out his own name. Dissing style has been praised for its unique combination of renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event, in company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown. Crossed out. Revealed to us exclusively that the couple indeed expecting. Oh, okay. Colorful, colorful platformer. <laughs> hey, Poolot. This is one of those scary games, for sure. I think this is the scariest one I've played thus far. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists. As well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations? All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Best regards, Carl Denton. Pesky pests. Pacification. Like my shirt, thank you. Portal with a bit of Firewatch. Caravaggio. Look better on my bedroom floor. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Vinny. You guys can all lick my shirt. 
Well, okay, that the camera looks good. Should I turn the volume up? Like when you when you hear the uh, the um, thunder, is it like loud enough to be scary? Kind of scary. Make sure this must be us. Crossed out. Not sure who that is on the left. Pure old bourbon whiskey. Loud enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to go in here yet, I don't think. See what's changed. The the game definitely builds up, so it's a bit slow initially. Longdale Mulligan Avenue. Popcorn? Popcorn? Oh god. Spilt wine. Spoiler, this game has scary moments. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ryu. Almost see anything mobile, and I'm okay with it. Poor game this early. Uh, I'll probably upload it to YouTube. Yeah. I took down my old playthrough, so I'll probably upload this one instead. Uh, Prika, yes. The Hungarian spice. He really likes it, apparently. Got two of them. Uh, yeah, basically like Groot. It's a, uh, a desk opening simulator. Right, so there, someone noticed this, I can't remember who it was, I don't even know if they're here this time around, but there's um, some more metals in the drawers. And um, you'll notice that we walk with a limp. Well, this one's locked. This thing. Don't remember that. Do we have a key anywhere? <laughs> See our reflection. Uh, yeah, we so we walk with a bit of a limp. Kind of hear it as I walk. Oh man, this game! Ooh. Killer's prosthetics. Uh, one below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they? Fuck up the something or other. So we have a prosthetic leg. <laughs> Cause he has big balls. He must have ass balls. Yeah, um sure. Yes he does. So, <laughs> rat traps everywhere, even though the pest controller said there were no no rats. Lobinian partners, fast, efficient, and discreet. Got a rat problem? Call us now. So, this is this is not the same name as the, the place that sent us the letter to say, stop. Stop uh, getting us to uh, exterminate the rat. So, he's contacted more than one place. Ha <laughs> ha 
are you? Get it. Okay, let's go. Oh god, let's go down to the basement. I missed this the first time. I played, I think. Oh fuck. Only on the memorial wall. Well, oh shit. It's because I'm getting better at the game, I think. Uh, less deaths. Got LOL there, though. All these candles on the ground, that is a, a fire hazard. Oh. Locked. Barely see. Yeah, the game definitely seems to look a lot nicer. Oh, shit. Interesting. Um, set up. Crazy motherfucker. Major internet connection problems? Probably best. Oh, sorry, Vickers. Uh, I have- I don't have the bitrate any higher than I normally would. The port card. Physical education excuse from class. Whose report card is this? Art. Oh, it must be our old report card. I got one B. Artistically inclined. Broken glasses. Control F5. Last XCOM 2 two days ago. So not finished the diary. Too much dreams. I got. Uh, I have another episode of XCOM that's just um, finishing off. I had to. I had to make an edit, so it has to process. Shall we go upstairs? So far, not too much has changed, but uh, take a look at this wall. You'll notice uh, something will change. Download some more RAM. Check. Did you check your TCP IP uh, settings? Music sheets. I believe you can play the piano too. Okay. Kind of knew that was coming. Yeah, delete system 32 as well. Oh shit. I think that was that the painting falling. Fuck me. Why do I play these fucking games? <laughs> Why do I play these games? I got a Wanderer achievement. Lights, please. Lights, please! Love that painting. <laughs> dating advice? I don't really have any dating advice to provide <laughs> Vickers, but it, it was a good idea. Little Red Riding Hood. God. It's just, you know, some casual doodles that we made. Uh, set the mood. 
I'm sorry I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Okay, we can read it that way. I, you'd like some dating advice? Really have, really have none to offer. You guys don't want dating advice from me. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? You're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old times sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare. Fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this. And I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Get you shit together. Your old pal, Liam Rickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Burning them bridges. <laughs> nice, Vinny. That's that's excellent advice. I'm sure Vinny's getting all the ladies at that. Got the sociopath uh, drawings round. Go. Uh... Who would kill Little Red Riding Hood? Fuck this guy. Fuck him. I'll have to get on board. A dating advice show? <laughs> we're, we're game players. We're, not, we're clearly not uh, gaming experts. Or um, dating experts. Whoa. Good lag. Clearly not gaming experts either. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Okay. Twitch chat is broken. Blame EA and Obama. They're in it together. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disaster's fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. The majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time. Several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no chance to escape the raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has yet uh, to be determined. Although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. It's going to be important to the story. Later on, someone smashed the mirror, they didn't want to look at the reflection. You want me to turn the music back on? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can't. Later on, I can. You'll hear it again. Oh man, I think there's I think there's a jump scare here. Ah yes. Fuck. <laughs> even though I even though I know they're coming, they always <laughs> they always get me. Ah, uh, the cane. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. So this is us. Our writing. Nice, <laughs> nice painting to have above your bed, dude. Really nice. That just really sets the mood. It's the mood for loving. Gaylor Cat, I, I did beat the early access version. But this is the full release. Resort internet? Oh, that's too bad, Vickers. I'm sorry. In your pants, thank you. Hiding under a blanket yet? Not yet. <laughs> I 
Oh, I didn't go over here. Locked. We see blood or wine. Can't really tell because we see both. And this, uh, I don't know, viney um, root tree like shape. He doesn't work on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, the 100% extra pant shit. Pretty sure it's ketchup. I don't think ketchup pools like that. Child's room. Baby's room. Definitely a well off family. percent more scares. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Lock. This one's locked also. Yeah, see, there we go. Painting uh, fell down or was moved. Does opening drawers do anything? Uh, sometimes there's notes in the drawers and other things. Now let's see if this is unlocked. Also, we should turn this off. Uh, I think okay I think I've gone through most of the house me yeah. sir I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked although can't imagine the mess that's inside also if you care so much for that room maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys Brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. I wonder who that is. Uh, John Ritchie, I haven't missed too much. I just we explored um, we explored the mansion um, before the fucking nightmare starts, and you'll see you'll see the rooms again, but in a very different state. Oh god, that didn't happen before. <laughs> Two dozen underwear to go. So sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you've done, before you go to sleep. So, see, you, you find stuff like that in the drawers. And I, I'm pretty thorough and I've definitely missed things uh, in the first playthrough. <laughs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. The clock gave me chills. Yeah, I'm wearing diapers. No, I'm wearing I'm wearing diapers. <laughs> oh, no pants, but diapers. Get it right this time. Oh, I'm not sure if I looked at this. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. This this is probably gonna fill up as we progress. For me to sit pantsless would be weird. Pretty normal for me. Oh, Vickers, thank you for following. I think you were following before. 
Anyways, here we go. First painting. Okay, that's the end of the stream, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, the door shuts behind me. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm curious to see how much of the game has changed. How's the uh the brightness for everyone? Is it too dark? Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many living couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. It does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, uh, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Might be, might be a bit too late. These two. Stop skipping words. You got the heretic, um, heretic bug. Wait, go outside? Oh my god. Maximize the darkness is fine with chat and all the white gray around. It's a bit dark. Okay. It's supposed to be dark. Happy with that. This is totally different, I think. Fuck, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Just out of reach. Oh my god. Oh god! There was a light switch! <laughs> I thought it was going to be nice and easy as like the, fir the first bit I'm going to know, but god. I don't, I don't know the first bit. They changed it. Who we'll closed the window? I don't know. Going in circles. Woman playing uh, on the piano. Could be our wife. Can't really tell. Anyone deliver me some chicken? Okay. This this is the same. Doesn't make it any less. Freaky. They have a date of blah blah blah. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Name scratched out. Can't read the note. Your tomatoes taste like shit. What are you talking about? It 
Style, right, style. We've got a code here and four eight five. Can two see? Pass holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Although he doesn't sound quite as crazy. Never forget. He will later on. See anything in there? It's friendly looking people. Oh, creepy chairs. Creepy old chairs. Stop moving. a note in here you've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time you're not allowed in that room even if the door happens to be open i forbid it this is your last warning next time you'll have to look for a new job let's be like a butler or cleaning lady a white paint no i can't when you go th when you go through rooms, it's um, they uh they end up being locked. Copyrighted, yeah. <laughs> That's why the game knows that it's copyrighted. So quiet. So quiet. Can't open that last one. Ah, shit, still scared me. <laughs> I think there's new stuff. I don't know though. It doesn't matter. I know it's coming and it still scares the shit out of me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, fuck that guy. I hate that fucking guy. It builds. This this uh this game gradually builds. My love. Even though you have not been born yet, I can feel already your presence. Simply amazing. Just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. Never been a deeply religious person, I guess. What other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a 
higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out concerts, some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character, that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. So, uh, she ended up becoming a talented uh, piano player. Never really gotten into horror games, can't really get into the same vibe Some as uh, some good horror movies. I am freaked out by horror games. I'm... I think I'm lucky enough to be able to, like, totally... Be able to, like, totally immerse myself in a... Um... I didn't, like, uh... Like, I can, I can, I have a pretty decent imagination, and I could just, I could see myself in the world, and even though there might not be, like, real danger to the character, I still get freaked out. <laughs> my mind, I guess I'm good at tricking myself. Dust mice, even in my lungs. Grotesque vermin, uh, dirt. Always more. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Because these games always freak me out. I find, yeah, I find uh, games scarier because you're right, like you're in control. And the, he's, he's back here. <laughs> and the baby is up here. It's creepy. I had to stop watching horror movies when I got kids and a few weeks ago I watched one called The Visit. Now I'm never gonna watch one again. Not in any danger, you only see some actors die. That's true, but what's closing up now? <sighs> okay, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's a room where we see like paintings. Uh, mixed together. The real scary part are your kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! See, I knew that was coming! Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes! Just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> See those Titanic jokes in the chat? Oh, fuck. I remember this bit. Oh, no. The one thing that they uh, ran to the fire that they removed from the beta or the early access was a lot of the story. So that's the one thing we're going to catch up on. That's so fucking creepy. That hand. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is when nothing happens. I know it's the anticipation. It's the anticipation of something like that. <laughs> Jeez. You know it's gonna happen. <laughs>
Screaming awesomeness, echoing screams, they stop at nothing. I, I won't go down easy. Fuck. Arsonist. Oh, look at that. It's like people hanging. Miss anything? Very affected. I am definitely affected by jump scares. That's that's the thing is I'm affected by like the suspense and also the jump scares. <laughs> Uh, Pursuer of good horror games. Thanks, Heretic. Okay, well, this looks this looks innocent enough. Oh, that reminds me. I need to. Uh... Log out of Steam so Cthulhu doesn't uh, spam my chat on Steam, even though it won't show up. By the way, that's one thing I like about OBS is the game capture doesn't capture the Steam overlay. He screamed like a little girl a few times. <laughs> okay, before before I started streaming. I was able to get through Penumbra on my own, and then I tried to stream. I tried to play Amnesia without streaming, uh, and I made I made it maybe like ten minutes into the game, and I had to stop. Um, and then I finally like got myself to like finally forced my way through am Amnesia, which was really hard. And then I started streaming, and I found horror games a lot easier to make my way through. Oh shit! Uh, with with you guys around. To hold me <laughs> God. Locked. God. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times. And yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Okay, they didn't have a female voice actor in the beta. Grey box, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have full dynamic range also. Uh, that is not a toothbrush. Shit talking brush. <laughs> the hairbrush. That would not be a very comfortable toothbrush. Oh no. You see, um, rooms from the mansion start to get like... Yeah, I'm not sorry guys, I'm not streaming in full dynamic range. Uh, rooms from the mansion that we saw at the beginning, they start to like, get distorted and uh, kind of like, smashed together. So this is the cupboard in the uh, the pantry. I have no idea what to expect here. <sighs> Lexi, hey, what's up? I'm all right. Um, yeah, there's. It's cool because I, there's a lot of new stuff that wasn't in the uh, beta. Sorry, I missed you. Paprika sure was spooky, um, so I don't, I don't really know what to expect from this game anymore. Okay, that was it. Okay, I can handle that. First step is the hardest. Agreed. There's really no need to apologize. 
Welcome, one and all. Oh, it's part. Oh no. Falling out of the painting, the still life. It's locked. picture always fresh fruits yeah until they rot oh i missed this midst mice starving me out chunky glunchy crunchy carcasses constantly sick jesus no kidding you're constantly sick i go back Oh fuck! Oh no. Oh right. Oh no. Hey steak ferret. Order pizza. There might be someone, something in this room with you? Well, there's something knocking at the door, wasn't there? Chad, will I wait? Yeah, I'm waiting for uh First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. Oh. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Tasty. Yeah, 90 minutes for a pizza? That's a long time. Fruit salad, anybody? Yeah, I'm really hungry after that, seeing that flayed skin. Okay. First painting. We found three of the, um, the drawings. Oh. I wonder if we missed, um... I wonder if we missed some pictures. Found one. Oops. I love, even though you have not been born yet. Okay, we found that also. This is all about our wife. <laughs> is that someone's foreskin? Of course, Scalard. Is the Boltons... Deep breaths. Remember you're a professional. Just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Let's see if more of this note... Eight even now, lost, you deserve it. So this note, I think, is gradually revealing itself. And so is our masterpiece. Shapeless dreams.
A flamingo masterpiece! I just heard stroke and heart. <laughs> I knew it. Game of Thrones reference. Oh, okay. Flesh mingos. I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be like a Rorschach test, but I see flamingos. Dali Dali esque flamingos. And here's our keepsake. Oh, that sound. Is that what it sounds like when you pick up f flayed flesh? This is just um, the quote, what he just said. All right, guys. One more, one more painting, I think. <sighs> it's it got the kind of like longer legs. Like the like the dolly dolly um elephants. Dolly. Oh, fucking elevator, no. Well, yeah, everything else. Obviously, Dali's paintings tend to be quite um, finely detailed and have a lot in them. But it's you have to realize that's the beginning, right? Uh, shit. Oh, let's go up. Yeah, I'd rather go up. Elevator's the worst. Fuck. I know something about art. I don't know that much about art either. It's an empty hallway. Can't be. This is an empty hallway. I like it. Oh, fuck. You got kicked out of museums? Why'd you get kicked out of museums? Oh, right. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleague at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible, considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me, or my fellow doctors, will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if... You refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information of several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green. So his wife needed skin grafts. 
Don't die. I don't think I can die in this. Unless something's changed. Like piano music. Um, so let's stand by my point. Uh, what started the argument? That shit was just a fucking dot. Oh, you started arguing with someone about the the painting. Someone gave us the task to describe what we saw in the paintings. Saw a fucking red dot. Nothing else. But I had to look deeper. <laughs> yeah, that's true, John. A laser pointer. Baggage fan could be. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. He seems happy there. But that didn't last. Got this, like, um... Veiny or, like, root-like pattern again. in here no oh that's where we came from uh... oh it's the Japanese embassy <laughs> Looks like something's burning in there. Oh shit, I don't remember this. Love that sound walking on like creaky wood. Let me go over here. Fuck, I can barely see. Great Dutch painters. Baby sounds. Oh god! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh god. You got you got kicked out just for like arguing with the lady. Doesn't seem fair. What art's about. I love Kill Bill. Thank you very much for the host. Welcome. Guys, go follow I Love Kill Bill if you haven't yet. 
Most of you guys here hail, though. Getting into the walls. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the age of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as inclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, psychologist, psychiatrist. Like expression stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, I haven't noticed. Usual gestures or postures, always had that. Able to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depersonalization, what does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movement, might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment, or passive aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies, question mark. So he's uh, thinking about his wife here. Might be schizophrenic. Install COD so we can play sometime? I don't even know what that is. Like the fish? I might have called her retarded after she told me there was a deeper meaning. For the okay. In an in a art gallery, you're pushing, you're, you're getting close to the line when you start doing that, I think. I'd probably kick you out. <laughs> Is there more to this game now? Yeah, they uh, fully released it, so it's still the basic the basic premise is the same, but there's they completed the story and um, changed stuff around a bit. I've already I've already found some new things. So it's and all all the old jump scares still still get me because I'm a scaredy cat. What's over here? Make up your mind. A disaster. That's what's over here. No, not everything's the same so far. That that part with the fire that we were looking down is different. Looking down on was different. I think, anyways. Is it me you're looking for? Hello? Same room we were in before. Or similar. It was fire. Kelpoli, what's up? Kelpoli. Welcome. Welcome to my own personal hell. It's gonna be fun to complete the story though. That's that's the part that I'm probably looking forward to the most. <laughs> Playing through this. I'm sure you guys are more looking forward to watching me scream like a little girl. I think I missed anything. Well, it's really hard to tell. It's so fucking dark. I like how they just have rooms that don't have anything in them because it, it really balances it out. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Oh my god. Me and my big fucking mouth. I'm like, I like it when there's rooms that nothing happens in, you know, because it really breaks things up. Fuck. That was a go. Yeah, there's some Goya paintings in here. 
<sighs> Usually when you go through a door, that's that. It's not there's not more to it. Because it closes behind you. I feel like, yeah. Vinny, can you please give us interpretations of all the paintings that we see? <laughs> Don't mean to laugh at your expense. That's why I stream these games for you guys, so you guys can laugh at my expense. Don't worry. Uh, and that's why I use the face cam for them. But this is this is me when I play horror games, guys. Fuck, I'm not going in there. Can I even go in there? No, that's what I thought. I'm laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's that's the point, guys. That's the whole point. You streaming these games, you can laugh at me. But uh, it's 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 for me also because great. I honestly don't think I could beat these games unless I was streaming them with you guys. Because I just give up. I just be like, fuck this shit. I don't need to deal with this stress. I've got you guys to like de-stress me a bit. Ugly dude. That's an ugly dude. The guy painted it because he liked ugly dudes. That's brilliant. That the insight. That's so insightful. Yeah. Okay. This I remember this one. Look at the mirror. Nice. Cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. Matches. All these hints of what's happened to this family. Hey, P. Avenger. That's a globe that isn't art. <laughs> Need help. Uh, got a life-changing decision to make. Do I or do I not update to Windows 10? Been thinking for too long. I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about it. The main reason why I haven't updated yet is because I just have to reinstall. Like, I want to wipe my hard drive and I have to reinstall, like, reconfigure all the shit that I've installed for streaming. And it's just, just a pain in the ass. I mean, I could just upgrade it, I guess, but I want to. I want to clean my hard drive out. Um, I think now's people in the chat can give you some advice, but I think um, I think it's it could be time to upgrade. There's actually a lot of games that require Windows 10 now. Not a lot, but some. I um yeah I never I never upgraded to Windows 8 on my like gaming PC I have on my laptop but I basically use it like Windows 7 like I didn't use any of the Windows 8 features <laughs> like the UI you burn the dog you think those are dogs I guess the guy like dogs I like Vinny he's like he he tells you exactly what he sees. To get an A now. Windows 10 broke my computer and I had to reformat hard drive and I upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 8. <laughs> Upgrade. 
Yeah, yeah, Vinny, you should do an audio. You should just travel around the world and do um, record audio for the paintings that people see during galleries. It's like there's like a mode. There's like Vinny mode on those, those um, those things, that, those headsets that you can wear. You can you can turn on like um, art scholar mode or Vinny mode. It's not that bad now. Updates are still a bother. I had to update uh, since my new PC had 8.1. It sucked balls. Well, that's a problem, but that's to be expected of Windows OS nowadays. Oh, fuck. Here it is. Fuck that wheelchair. I know exactly what's going to happen. You want this as well? I hate, I hate creepy fucking like old wheelchairs. I don't know what it is. I fucking hate them. Oh God, here it is. No, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I hate them. Oh, I hate don't. So I like my my theory is that he's interpreting uh, blood as paint. I'm not sure. Not sure, he does see blood also. It seems. Art is I I really do appreciate art. Um, a lot of it is bullshit though, and I I have a, a brother who's an artist, and he will. Fully admit that. Remember what's gonna happen? What? Oh god, I really don't want to turn around. I really don't want to turn around. It's okay, that's fine. What? Oh god, what the fuck? Why did that scare me? That was like nothing. Can I go through here? It's locked. Great. Mickey, what's up? Is this a fun family game? Oh yeah, every, it's great fun for the whole family. It's not. It's not like there's really like on-screen violence or nudity or anything so I don't I mean family game I wouldn't really say it's R-rated shit this is this is new wait what was that oh the door closed I don't know which way to go Thanks, thanks, Kill Bill. <laughs> Just have one of those really logical minds. Level design being incoherent. Yeah, you're definitely, Heretic definitely has a logical mind. My art uses words, not blood. Am I doing something wrong? Yes, you are a P Avenger. Every good art needs a bit of blood. All the paintings are small now. Oh, well, no, I don't mean nudity is horror. I just mean that um, people tend to believe that nudity means not family oriented. What I mean is there's like nothing that really makes this game R rated aside from the subject matter. And that's like not something that kids would really notice. Uh, like I mean the uh, the story. 
Oh, fuck. They wouldn't really notice it so much. It's a lot of um, implied stuff. Girl, yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Girls scare me. Yes, they do. Wow, this whole area is totally different. Oh. Can't see. Implied nudity. You know what I'm saying, guys. Or maybe maybe I'm just not explaining it well. Sing along to this. It's not like um It's not like Halloween where it's someone running around slashing people to death, right? It's all like implied horror. It's it's atmospheric. It's like I'm not going around killing anyone. Like I would say GTA 5 has more horror than this. <laughs> it's more like it's definitely way more R-rated than this game. She's been added again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews, like notes. Uh stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough and knows what really gets to me. Just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus, does she really hate me that much or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. September 12th. Go around remembering what you did to your family. <laughs> yeah. But that's a good point. Is oh, there we go. Light. It's the implied stuff. It's, uh oh. Shh. Does it make it, does it make it, like, worse for kids? Because <laughs> this is, like, legitimately just mind, a bit mind-altering. <laughs> I'm scared, that's why I try to talk about nonsense and not look at the stream directly. John Rich... John, are you really not able to, like, watch the stream? I'm not... Okay, it gets worse. <laughs> this is this is easy mode compared to the way the, the game gets. Oh, fuck. I feel like I've missed some things. Oh, now it's open again. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this game's messing even more with my mind than it used, than it did uh, during the beta. I'm able, but it's difficult. I'm happy seeing the action in the corner of my eyes, thank you. PT lights. I think there is definitely some... I'm closing the door. Shit. There's definitely some PT... Influences probably. Not that I played PT. April fourth. Look at that uh, handwriting. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. Reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but God damn it, should know better. The small child in the house. That's just irresponsible. They did end up having the child. Fuck. No lights. 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 Fuck.
no, no, no. We're good. Uh, is there a fail state in this game? Not that I'm aware of. The fail state is not playing. Heck, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's not, you're not, knocking on the door is not inspiring me to open it, sir. No, you can't really die in this game, so that's as far as I can tell, which makes the game less scary for some people, but like I was saying before, um, Mickey, I am I have a fairly decent imagination, and I can, like, really place myself in games like this, and even if, like, I know I, I can't really die in the game, it's still equally scary to me. Let's just stay in this room forever, please. It looks... I mean, if I was to pick a room, aside from, uh, Maybe the, the, the bedroom at the beginning of the game. The creepy painting above it. This I'd probably pick this one. So this must have been... Is this... Maybe where our wife slept? There's something like, what is this room? Oh, it must be us that slept here. Yeah. So the wife must have been in the main bedroom. We must have slept here. Although we didn't see this room in uh, in the mansion we were looking around. So who knows? What's in the box? I can't open the box. There's some stuff that you just can't open. Doesn't need a death state. Yeah. I mean, amnesia has a death state, but actually I found dying in amnesia made it less scary. Because it was like... You could just keep running into the monster and like dying constantly and then and then it just you're like oh well i could just restart from five seconds ago who cares um i actually like that it's just admitting that yeah you aren't dying but the scares are always like equally potent right it, it never loses its luster maid's chamber oh maybe maid's chamber but uh the bottle hmm. yeah it could be and the glasses that kind of makes me think it might be ours like maybe we started sleeping there after our wife uh, had the accident our watch was scary as hell a couple times as well yeah agreed what's in the box you could die in soma it was like amnesia so yeah dragged okay i I think I know it's, oh god. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Whatever ac accident happened to him would have happened, like I said, probably during the war, because there's war medals. Yeah, but it was, seems like it was before they met. What box? What box, man? Use your imagination, Vinny. Use your imagination, sir. It's probably just a dot, Vinny. <laughs> yeah, I... Like I was saying when I played the uh, early access, the water makes me think that someone maybe drowned as well. At least you're in a beauty. <laughs> With the new Kalama Fusion Max, say farewell to acne scars, enlarged pores, and other unpleasant skin conditions. The new Glamour Fusion Max Concealer will give your skin a healthier look and a smoother feel. Don't think of it as covering up deficiencies. Think of it as unleashing your inner beauty. Isn't it funny how, like, I'm sure this is, I know this isn't a real ad, but ads really haven't changed that much over time. They were just like this uh, back then. What did the melting Rembrandt mean, Vinny? <laughs> I, 
think the guy just sniffed paint thinner and knocked it over. <laughs> CC cream of the olden days, yeah. Yes, light. Let that be light. That's that's a really creepy painting. I like it. I like it. Strange little hallway. Why is this even here? What are we supposed to see? where that jump scare was so now we're seeing a room that was in um, in the mansion when we first started the game we're seeing it in this this fucked up version modern man thank you so much for the host and welcome go follow the modern man guys excellent streamer plays all kinds of stuff actually another toothbrush you turn on the MP3 player on the table? I can, in fact. Why is this so hard? Oh, weird. What's this supposed to play? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's nothing on it. This is a different room. Okay, cool. Prosthesis Snatchers. Why the damn leg? Insatiable bastards. Can't afford a new one. Creepy. Creepy. Record on your right. Oh, okay, thanks. Is it going to be easier from this side? There we go. Oh, I sped it up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Chipmunks. <laughs> I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Cause you're crazy. Melted bedroom. Cause you're crazy. Okay. Um, need to reverse this. Let's listen to it at normal speed. I definitely missed that speed uh, changer, if it was even there. <sighs> okay. Kill Satan message when played backwards. Maybe I had to put it at the right speed. We're back. 
Can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night. Now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Must be our wife, but it looks like it could be before the accident. Their handwriting looks good. I don't think we found any more pictures. That's pretty cool that you could play through the game again and try to find some of the stuff that you've missed. We did find another drawing. And let's see what's been added to uh, this letter. A grave for you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see how the painting has changed. All right, Vinny, what do you see? Here's the blood vial. See the, uh, the, um, desk here is melted like the room. What does your reflection look like? Um, I can take a look. We looked at it before. It's kind of hard to see. A bit blurry. We look like a pleasant gentleman. I see a pile of gore and dirt. <laughs> so Heretic Grimm likes it. A bit like a mix of Van Gogh and Wolverine. Wolverine? Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here. Uh, I'm gonna go do some recording. Um, thank you so much for watching. Oh, the reflection. Oh, <laughs> not the painting. A rooster. Fair enough. Uh, I've got uh, Danganronpa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it should be releasing today, and I'm hoping the Solus Project as well, which I'm going to do something really unique with, and we'll see if it works uh, with you guys. It's going to be more interactive with uh, YouTube comments, which I'm looking forward to. This is about as much of this game as I think I could take right now. I might get back to it later today. But uh, also, if you want to see a good time, I think Christopher Odd is going to be streaming this tonight at in about 6 hours, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can go check him out, and I'll, uh, I'll probably be there at the beginning, since I've already seen this, this bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and uh, I'll post someone up, and I'll be back to finish this game uh, another day. Thank you so much. This is Luckless Love Locks. Not enough for now. Do I always put up this picture behind me for horror games? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, uh, when I have the green screen up, it's, um, it, um, I have to take those down. Okay, guys, see you later, and I uh, hope you enjoy whoever I decide to, to host up and go give them, go give them some love. This is Lux Lovelock signing off for now. <laughs>